everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing Monsta X's newest official fan club kit. This is the 6th generation Mon Bebe kit, and it is the 5th time I have purchased Monsta X's official fan club membership. Much like the 5th generation kit, this one comes housed in an outer box. This one is a sleek black color, which I really like. Luckily, unlike the 5th generation kit, this one came relatively quickly. International shipping of the 5th generation kit got delayed by several months because of the current worldwide situation, but of course now, a year later, they had a better idea of how to handle that, and so the international orders went out just a few weeks after the Korean ones. And I'm really excited to take a look at this. I haven't seen too many spoilers online. I've already opened it up just to take out the membership card that had my name on it. But I really love this logo on the front. I really love the gold of it as well. Um, most of the sides are just plain. But here on the top here, we can see it says MX Agent, 6th Official Fan Club Mon Bebe. And on the back, it says MX Agent as well. Let's open this up and see what all comes inside. And the first thing we have in the box is the thing that holds your membership card. Like I said, I've already taken my membership card out. But it goes along with the secret agent concept for the kit. It says MX Agent. Welcome, Agent Monbebe. Thank you for joining MX Agent. And then authorized signature, Monbebe. Apparently that is our collective name now, not just a fandom designation. We are Mom Bebe, legally, according to this. Um, and we can see some of the items did move around a little bit in transit, but that is to be expected. I do appreciate that there is a holder with slots for everything. And over here on the right, we can see we have a contents list of everything that is included. It's a special gift list, fan club card, which, like I said, I removed. Then we have a set of member ID cards, a card holder, key ring, scratch photo card, selfie photo card, a Polaroid and evidence Ziploc bag set, removable sticker, agent profile and file holder set, and a photo book. And you may notice from that contents list that once again there is no DVD included in the fan club membership. For the second, third, and fourth generations, they all included a DVD with footage from the previous year's fan meeting, fan club party, whatever they called it for that particular year. Um, but they did not include it last year because that fan con was released on VLive as a purchasable VOD. And this year, they sold live stream tickets to watch the FanCon online in real time. There was supposed to be an in-person component to that as well, but that did get canceled shortly before the event due to restrictions, unfortunately. Um, so they sold tickets that way, and then they are actually selling that as a DVD and Kino kit package, which of course I have already pre-ordered and will be unboxing those when they arrive. And I actually don't mind that. As a collector, I do prefer to purchase physical media as opposed to digital content. So I'm actually really excited that we're getting a DVD with specialized photo book and photo cards and all that kind of stuff. I would much rather have that than the digital only purchase that they did for the home party fan con. And like I said, we do get a lot of other stuff in this kit as well. Um, but I will say, because these kits no longer include the DVDs, I don't think they are as worth the money compared to the previous years. But ultimately, everyone likes different things as a collector, so whether it will be worth it for you or not is your own personal decision to make. I can't unequivocally tell you if it's worth your money, because you might want to spend it differently than I do. For me, as a collector, it is still worth it. Um, but let's get this out of the way. Oh, it looks like we have a whole bunch of other items underneath it. I'm excited to go through all of that. Let's go through everything here first. So we have the card holder. It says MX Agent Monsta X. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. 
And then we have, oh, this is the clip to attach to the card holder. Interesting that that's packaged separately. But it helps keep the little metal parts from damaging anything. So I do appreciate that. And then I believe this is the key ring. I think we're going to have to, yeah, it is. It says key ring on the back. I'm going to have to open this up to give you a closer look at it. Looks very cute. I'll definitely get some use out of this. Yeah, it's very cute. We've got a picture of the six current members of Monster Axe. And then the logo that they're using for this kit, which I think is very cute. I will say it does look like some of the paint is a little bit scratched there. Which is a little bit of a bummer. But I mean, that would happen from wear and tear of actually using the keychain, so it's not that big of a deal. And we also have this fabric tag. It says MX Agent Special Agent 06. Very cute. Really like that keyring design. And then we have the member ID cards. Which I'm usually not a huge fan of compared to regular photo cards. But I do like them when they go along with the concept. Which they do here. Oh, these feel very thick and nicely made. I do appreciate that. I do like the ID cards more when they are made of like a sturdier, plasticky material than just the normal thin photo card type. So these, I presume, will go in age order, starting with Shonu. Got their name, title, agent, birth date, and then a little ID photo there. And that is what the back looks like, so that will be different for every member. Next we have Minhyuk, who looks absolutely adorable in his glasses. And that is the back of his card. Next we have Kizan. Again, looking gorgeous. And that is the back of his. Then we have Hyungwon. Honey, and I am, and that is everything that comes in this little holder. So let's move that out of the way and see what else we have in the kit. So this it looks like is going to be the Polaroid and Evidence Ziploc bag set. Judging by the fact that uh, these are Polaroids and this is a Ziploc bag. <laughs> so the card's out of the bag. We can get a closer look at it and see that it says evidence, case number six, item Polaroid, date 2015, May 14th until, of course that is Monsax's debut date, time 5.14 p.m., and then agent, and it has the six members' names. And then here are the Polaroids. Start off with Shonu. And it looks like if you put them all together, they'll probably show a design on the back. I love their Polaroids. They're always so nicely made. Minhyuk. Kihyun. Honey. Oh, the back of his looks really cool. I am. Oh, we get some unit Polaroids as well. That's super fun. We have Minhyuk, Shonu, and Hyungwon. Then you have Ju Honey, I Am, and Ki Hyun. And then a group Polaroid. And that is all of those. 
and looking in the rest of the kit, it actually looks like I have a slight manufacturing error. Because I actually have a second evidence bag. I don't think I'm supposed to have two of those. There's no Polaroids in it though, but I hope there's not somebody who is, just has Polaroids and is missing their evidence bag. And then we have two different sets of photo cards. The selfie cards and the scratch cards. And these are the scratch cards. You can tell because they have the silver foil on the back that you're supposed to scratch off to reveal. I'm assuming a message from the member. And then these are the selfie photo cards. So let's take a look at those first. And these are going to be just your standard month back selfie photo cards. You have shown in first, going in age order once again. And that's what the back looks like. It has their name, the logo for the kit, and then code name six, the official fan club mom bebe, top secret. Got mint black. Again, he looks so, so cute in those glasses. Kihyun. I feel like when they put them in suits, they almost always give Kihyun a bow tie. I guess they all have bow ties this time. I have black hair for this too. That's a rare sight for Month X. Chew Honey. And I am. Oh, and we also have unit cards. I was not expecting that. So we have Minhyuk, Hyunwon, and Shonu. That one is so cute. And then Kihyun, Juhoni, and I am. And then we have a group card as well. Very, very cute. I was wondering why this sleeve felt thicker than the other set of cards. That would be why, the unit cards. And then for the scratch photo cards, I'm not going to scratch them off on camera. So I won't be able to show you the backs of the cards. Just the unscratched versions. Start off with Shonu once again. Minhyuk. Kihyun. Chew Honey, and I am. Oh, he looks so serious there. And those are just the six members, no group cards there. Next up, we have the removable stickers, which is the sticker sheet, which apparently is removable. Um, doesn't look like, no, actually it does look like there's two sheets in there, so I will have to open this up to show you. So this is the first sheet of stickers. It's like these little profile pictures of the members, and then these agent things. Oh, this is fun. It's got the letters to spell out their names, and then like a bunch of other related letters, and then we just have the whole alphabet. I like that it's in a bunch of different fonts, like a ransom note. That's really fun. And then another group picture, and they're even like different sizes, like like when you would cut out letters from a magazine to make a ransom note. That is really creative and cool. Next up, I'm guessing this is going to be the agent profile and file holder set. Let's 
see if I can get this out of here. It's getting harder now that we have less items remaining. I think we're down to this and then the photo book. So I'm going to go ahead and take both of these out and look at them a little more closely. So this is the file holder and this could definitely be reused as like an actual file holder. It's pretty sturdy feeling. This is MX Agent on the back. And I hadn't thought about it until we got to these, but the concept for this is kind of reminiscent of the detective concept that Stray Kids did for their SKZX fan meeting. They also had file folders that they sold with like evidence, they called it. So that's some fun overlap there, considering those are two of my alt groups. And these are pretty cute, they're like self-written handwritten profiles for each member. I always love anything that's written in the member's handwriting. So we have show news first. And on the back we have a gorgeous photo of the member. And these are like relatively thick paper as well. They're not very flimsy, which I do appreciate. Next we have Minhyuk. So gorgeous. Kihyun. Young Won. I keep thinking pages are stuck together because of how thick they are. So that's actually just the size. Got you, honey. Their writing is so cute. And last but not least, I am. Very cool. And now everything else so far in the kit has been sealed in those resealable plastic sleeves, which I quite like because those make it easier to store them without risking damage in the future. The only thing that's not packaged that way is the photo book. It is just in a shrink wrap that you have to cut to get it open. I went ahead and took that shrink wrap off, and it looks like we have a decently thick photo book here. The size kind of reminds me of the program books that they would sell for some of their concerts in the past. On the front we have this group photo. It says MX Agent Issue, Thursday, 14th May, 2015. This is a highly classified project. This file is confidential. And at the bottom it says special agent list. Code name Shonu Minhya Kihyun Hyungwon Juhani. I am and six mod baby. I really like this inside page. It's all black and it says this file is confidential. Very cool pages inside are a little on the thin side, just to note, and then it says Special Agent 01, Shonu, we've got a little ID photo of him. Interesting that they didn't actually include the little small ID photos like that, but I suppose they included the ID cards, so similar concept. This is Agent and his birth date. And then we've got some pictures of Shonu. Oh, that's cool. That like tripped me out for a second. I thought that was actually three dimensional. It's just a picture. I wonder if this is supposed to tie in with the lore in some way. I honestly kind of gave up on the lore after Fantasia. It was going to be a little too much for my brain. But it's a very cool concept either way. That keeps tripping me up because I keep thinking that it's actually very dimensional, but it's just printed that way. That's really cool though. I really like the graphic design here. So next we have Minhyuk. I like that his hair is really more of a blue black. That's really pretty. It's like even though they all have black hair, they still 
are different from each other. I'm gonna teach him. Look at that little smirk. He's so cute. Oh, and immediately after that, we've got this really gorgeous side profile. He's so pretty. So stunning. Absolutely cannot get over it. Then we have young one. So pretty. I love the cursive font they used for the mom baby, by the way. You know, he's got the newspaper again. I can't help but think of him reading the newspaper in the drama rama video. I bet this is supposed to be lore related. We have Juhani. And I do feel like this concept goes well with uh, Love Killa and Gambler. He's got an umbrella. Okay, Kingsman. Then we have I am. Who also has an umbrella. Again, okay, Kingsman. I'm still so sad we didn't get a physical release for his solo album, but I get it. It was because the songs were explicit, so there have to be restrictions on who could buy it. He just said he didn't want to deal with the hassle of it, and I suppose I can't blame him. We have some unit pictures. We've got Shonu, Minhyuk, and Hyohwan again. The same units as the cards. And then Juhani, Ayan, and Kihyun. So gorgeous. And then a group photo. And another group photo to end the photo book. So all in all, if you are a collector and you enjoy things like photo books and photo cards and Polaroids, I think you will be pretty satisfied with this fan club kit. However, if you prefer things like the concert DVDs, this one might be a little bit lacking for you. But that is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see more K-pop hauls or unboxings like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.